All right, today we're going to start topic seven. This is topic seven, chapter chapter seven, section one. Um, we're going to talk about classifying polynomials. Okay, um, to understand what a polynomial is, you need to know first what a monomial is. We define a monomial as a number, a variable, or the product okay, of a number and one or more variables with whole number exponents. Remember, a product means that we've multiplied. So I've listed some examples here of what a monomial might look like. It says it can be a number, so you might use a number like 2 or can be negative numbers like negative 4. Um, it can be a variable. A variable like x is probably the most common variable. y, a, or b. It can be any letter that's representing a value. Or it can be the product of a number and a variable. So you have products here. This is 5 times g. This is 6 times a times b. That's a product. You can say 7x squared. Okay. And then the key to this is it says whole number exponents. If you recall from earlier, first semester, a whole number would be 0 and then all positive numbers, like 0, 1, 2, 3. So the good news is that you're not going to see negative exponents in this chapter if you didn't like next negative exponents in the last chapter. You are only going to see whole number exponents. So these are just different examples. There's many, many others that we could have. Um, one thing that you're going to be asked here is what's the degree of the monomial? And to find the degree, it's the sum of the exponents of the variables in the monomial. So a sum means to add. So you're going to add up the exponents that you see. So if I go back up to this example, if you see a whole number or a number like 2 by itself, there's no variable with it. Okay, so there's no exponent to go with that variable. So this is just a degree 0 um, monomial. Negative 4 would be a degree 0 because it doesn't have a variable. Um, these that I have a variable to, like x, what is the exponent on the x? Okay, there's a 1 there. Even though we don't see it written, that's a 1. So that would be a degree 1 monomial. Um, this 6ab, okay, there's an exponent of 1 on the a, and there's also an exponent of 1 on the b. So if I take the sum of that, this would be a degree 2 monomial. And this 7x squared would be degree 2 also. Okay, a polynomial, so monomial, mono means 1. Okay, there's one term. We call each of these, these are monomials, they're separate terms. Okay, a polynomial is a monomial by itself or the sum or difference of several monomials. Okay, poly means many, so we're going to see many monomials together, separated by either addition or subtraction. Okay, so examples of that might be 3mn. x plus 4 is a polynomial. We have two different terms or two different monomials there added together. Um, we've got a difference here, y squared then the minus 3y, that's a polynomial, um, and then plus 24. So this, all together, is one polynomial. We see three different monomials, okay? To figure out the degree of the polynomial, you just take the, the greatest degree. So if I go back and look at this last example of a polynomial, if I take the degree of each term like I did up here, so this y squared is a degree 2, this y, negative 3y has a degree 1, and 24 has a degree 0. I just take the biggest number. So that would be a degree 2 polynomial. Okay, and we've got some examples here. Um, naming a, uh, by degree. Actually, I don't have some examples written in here. If I want a degree 0 polynomial, I would just have um, a constant term. Actually, sorry, what are we doing? That's for the examples. I used like 3 as an example for a degree 0. If it's a degree 0, we call it a constant. Sorry, these aren't my notes. But if it's a degree 0, it's just a constant number. and There's no variable involved. <clears throat> if it's a degree 1, we call it linear. And a linear term might be a negative 4x. If it's degree to the first power, then it's linear. Okay, degree 2 would be a quadratic. Okay, um, an example of a degree 2 polynomial might be x squared minus, uh, let's just say x squared minus 2. Oh, let's do 2x plus 1. 
So when we're talking about the degree, okay, it doesn't, we're not talking about how many terms it has, we're just talking about the degree. This term has a degree 2, this term has a degree 1, this term has degree 0, so that's a degree 2 polynomial, we call it a quadratic. Degree 3 is called a cubic. Okay, maybe x to the third plus 1. That would be a cubic, that's a degree 3 polynomial. Um, a degree 4, um, you can just write in there degree 4. Our textbook would just say degree 4 and anything above that, degree 5, degree 6. Um, there's, I've worked with some other Algebra 2 books that call this a quartic. If you want to remember that name for degree 4, you can. Otherwise, you can just write degree 4. And I might do like x squared, y squared, minus 3xy plus 1. Okay, that would be an example of a degree 4 polynomial, or quartic. Okay, look at the next page. If I want to name polynomials by their number of terms, so one way to name a polynomial is by its degree, or classify it. Another way to classify a polynomial is based on how many terms it has. So if I have a number of terms, if it has one term, okay, I might do... Uh, 3x, we call that a monomial. Okay, remember there were some examples of monomials on the first page there. If it has two terms, we call it a binomial. Uh, maybe 7x squared plus 1. That would be a binomial because it has two different terms. Okay, if it has three terms, we call it a trinomial. So maybe x squared minus 3x plus 2. Okay, that would be a trinomial. It's got three different terms. Here's a term, here's a term, here's a term. It's a trinomial. Now it's a degree 2. Classify it by degree 2 on the previous page. That's a degree 2 trinomial. Degree 2 is a, called a quadratic. So we could say this is a quadratic, and we could also say it's a trinomial. Anything above that, we just say however many terms it has. So four terms or five terms or six terms, we just use the number. Um, if it's four terms, it might be, it looks like, um, uh, let's do x cubed plus 2x squared minus x plus 7. Okay, that would be a four-term polynomial. Okay, if I want to classify according to its degree, this would be degree 3. That would be a degree 3 or a cubic, and it has four terms. Okay. Um, determining whether or not something is a polynomial or is not, keep in mind what we said. Uh, it has to have monomials, it has to have whole number exponents. So if you see something like this example here that has a negative exponent, that is not a polynomial because it has a negative exponent. Okay, the rest of these on this page are all polynomials. So these are yes, 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 and yes. And then what you're going to do is you're going to classify it according to its degree and according to its number of terms. This is a degree 0, so that's a constant. Or actually, I'll just say degree 0. Or you could say constant. And then the number of terms, it has one term. So it's uh, a monomial. Okay, we said this was... A polynomial, so if I classify it by its degree, okay, this first term has degree 2, this is degree 1, that's degree 0, so the largest number is 2, so that's a degree 2. Okay, we call that a quadratic. Okay, and then it has 1, 2, 3 terms, so we call that a trinomial. Okay, this was also a polynomial, so it's a degree, oh, no, I'm wrong about that. That's not a polynomial. This is a no, and the reason it's a no is because it's got a variable in the exponent spot. You can't have a variable in the exponent spot, so that's a no. This was a no because it had a negative exponent. This is a yes. Okay, if I go down here and classify it according to its degree, this would be a degree 4 term. This would be a degree 5 term, so this would be degree 5. 
and it only has two terms to it, so that's a binomial. Okay, so that's just a little bit about getting your vocabulary down and knowing what those classifying by degree means and classifying by the number of terms. Go ahead and give that first worksheet a shot.